Today is an example of how groups within the Sun Movement, development partners, civil society, business, and the United Nations system are organizing themselves to take responsibility. It's the launch of the Sun Business Network and the creation of its system of governance. Nine out of ten people in the world in one capacity or another actually works for business. And if you really want to get these sustainable solutions, you have to make that integral part of business model. So it seems so logical to me, uh, but it's hard work to get everybody involved. And I'm, I'm very pleased to see that you've given a uh, response to this rallying cry. We are really at a unique moment uh, for the nutrition sector where finally nutrition is really emerging on the agenda as part of the global priority on food and nutrition security. Sadly, however, nutrition is an area in which the role of private sector has been poorly perceived by many. This has led to a sometimes toxic relationship between some civil society groups and the private sector. It is the responsibility of us all to counter this and to build trust through constructive and ethical engagement. With the formation of platforms where people can come and talk their minds, you are able to work, overcome many of the difficulties and the challenges that you will have for implementation. When we start to work in this partnership, absolutely we've got to listen and understand and really listen truly to listen and understand to truly to understand. And I think that means, and my company needs to do it, government needs to do it, civil society donors, put people in the rooms to have those discussions that actually want to listen and understand. You know, the wonderful thing about sun, it's like the sun. We all see it, we all know it's good, but we can't touch it, we can't feel it. I think one of the challenges of this group is to make it real. And when we talk about it becoming real, it must change lives of people for the better.